channel. Today we are going to be out in the garden. Um, it's quite overcast outside um, and I thought actually it's a really good day for gardening. So the garden, it's really dry in the garden actually considering how much rain we've had. I know I keep talking about the rain, don't you all? Um, but there's quite a lot of shrubs and trees and things so it is quite dry. So today I thought I'd crack on with a bit of gardening. Um, I want to um, sow a few seeds. What else do I want to do? We've got, oh, I was given some crab apples yesterday. Um, really gorgeous, really red ones. And I'm going to hopefully make a quick crab apple jelly, um, rosemary jelly actually. It's really delicious. We use it with all our Sunday roasts and things like that. Um, what else? I'm hoping to head out for a walk later with the family and get some blackberries, um, more blackberries. The ones at the allotment, we picked a load yesterday and they've um, finished now really. They were just too soft and old, so they're just going to go in a, probably a crumble for lunch today. Um, some of the flowers I saved the other day, uh, actually I will show you that. The I don't know if you remember from the video where I was talking about the seeds I was going to sow. I sowed some wallflowers um, from the Wilco seeds and they've all come up but also I sold some really really old flower seeds that I had um, and they seem to have come up I think it was some stocks and sweet rocket I don't know if the sweet rocket has but the stock certainly has um, which I'm really pleased about so that's the job for today anyway I suppose we ought to get outside and crack on with some gardening Okay, so we're in the vegetable garden at home. Um, I've changed my mind and I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I've got going at home. So here is the rhubarb, as you can see. This is the one at home. Still fantastic. It's just starting to flop over a bit now. And down here we've got some chilies and what's left of the tomatoes at home we haven't got light yet we'll have, let's have a look no we are still looking good at home so we've got a few coming here another pepper pepper chili i've been really slow Nice bunch of chives here. I love chives. And um, fever few. This pops up all over the garden. What else have we got? What's left of the spring onions at home? These are Lilia. They've been really good actually. And if I pick one now just to show you. just how well they keep and I end up using them just as like little onions and things so we'll have those later this is my worm bin and in there is some of the liquid that we use I've got some tomatoes on here that I picked the other day and actually they're okay <clears throat> I've got some tomatoes here against the wall. I have grown tomatoes in this section all the way along here. It used to go all the way to the end, but the chickens are there now. So, um, so I've grown tomatoes here for the past 20 years in exactly the same spot along here. And I've only once had blight and that was about oh, 10, 12 years ago, possibly longer. Never had light here. It's really, it's a south facing wall. I'm just checking these over, no blight on these. Some lovely red ones down here. There we go, the zinnias. So I've got mint. I grow mint in the pot here. Just put this tomato in. 
So, and now we've got a rather sorry looking grapevine. This has been here years. I've never bothered to train it up this wall. Um, and that doesn't, it does get some red, berry, uh, red berries, if you can, grapes, if you can see them there. But it's not a very good one. And I know, um, I think Dan at Home Gardens, he grows loads of grapes and does really well. And we're in a similar part of the UK. Um, I could do with some help with, with grapes because I have no idea what I'm doing with grapes. Let's move around. I think this is what I'm going to work on today, this bed. It's a bit overgrown and sorry for itself. Um, but we have, in fact, we can harvest some of these now. Where are we? I'm trying to put some carrots. Oh, they look really good, really clean. Get some more. They're good. I don't know what variety these were. I'm not very good with labels. Oops. Let's try another one. So quite a short one by the looks of it. They look good. We'll have those for lunch. In this bed here I've got, I did have some cabbages, that's the last one, they were decimated by the cabbage whites so we just give them to the chickens over there. Um, we've got some tomatoes and peppers but it's they're over there and it's a bit shady. We used to have the polytunnel in this section um, but we've moved that over into the corner so this was kind of a last minute section. Um, we've got asparagus over there I've got a tree in a pot there. Um, that's a cherry tree. What else have I got? We did have some lettuces down here. Got some parsley over there. More zinnias. So yeah, I think we'll work on this. And then in this bed here, we've got, I'll show you, we've got a row, small row of beetroot. Um, just here is another row of spring onions coming, the spent lettuces, um, some chard that went in, just dotted around here, a few more lettuces, chives, some more parsley there and there, um, and then over here, there my raspberries at home. Um, they're just finished now, really. And then here we've got a Mahonia. Now, I harvested the berries from that because I believe you can eat them and I was going to make a jam and it's just reminded me that they're still in the freezer at the moment, so I might make a jam out of the berries from there. Um, over there, that's where we had some pots of potatoes.
just found a massive carrot. Right, let's go and harvest it. Just in here. Here. Let's see if I can pull it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. It's as big as the palm of my hand. I'll show you compared to the others. Do you want to hold? Do you want to hold them? I'll do it here. Do you want to hold that, and so we can see how big it is on your against your hand? Hold your hand like that. I hold your hand in front here, just here, so we can see. <laughs> Would you like? Is it got some damage? That oh no, it's okay. Do you want to go and show Daddy how big the carrot is? But not this one. No. Okay, and here we are. I think you can safely say that looks a lot better. Now, you can see where this used to be the, in fact, let's go this way. This used to be the polytunnel because this used to be the path up the middle and we had raised beds either side. So we're gradually trying to fill in that pathway there. So, the ground is really hard and compacted in there. I was quite surprised. I'm assuming where we just had such heavy, heavy rain it's just compacted the soil so I've now got two beds under control so in this one I've got a few bits what have I got to sew in there pop it I've got something to pop in there I think I was going to do a quick row of lettuces I did do some and they didn't germinate so they must have been some old seeds I'm going to try again with some lettuces well, that was good. I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of the polytunnel. Now we did used to have the polytunnel just over there where I was doing the vegetable garden um, and then we moved it into this corner just because it was in the way. Um, excuse me a moment. So it was in the way so we moved it to here so it was quite late on um, so we just quickly got everything in so there's not really a huge amount in here. I have been using it more as a place as a nursery bed. Okay so what I've got over here I'll just give you a quick tour of what I've got over here. So at the top here they're a bit mossy, but I've got some hellebores that I have dug up. In here, the other day, is where I sowed some of those seeds that I mentioned. This stock, that was that Sarah Raven stock. It was really old seed, and look, it's all come up there. The um, wallflowers have come up. The sweet rocket doesn't look like it has yet, and the cabbages have. Here, I've got, I take lots of cuttings. So here I've got some spiraeus and some ceanothus, and they all look pretty good at the moment. I've got lots of box and as you can see I've got new growth so that's looking really healthy. I've taken some rose cuttings this one is called Dancing Queen. I've done some more um, oh, I always get these mud ordered. I don't know if these are I think these might be red currants um, and if we just come down to here so down here um, these are just some leeks that I some late leeks and these are <laughs> some very 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 late purple sprouting bo broccoli they are so tiny whether they're going to amount to anything i don't know a late sowing of basil so um that may have to come indoors and some flat leaf parsley and i've got some lemongrass here i divided this the other day and that's looking really healthy i grew that from seed i'm really chuffed to bits with that and over here i've got various currants these are what i took a year ago as you can see because i've got black currants on them um what else have we got in here so coming round to here we've got a goji berry oh now that is the first time i have ever seen a flower on my goji berry very first one are there any more no and then we've got some tomato um tomatoes strawberries and then a ruse a rooseberry a rhubarb that i have trans um did i transplant i think that just snapped off of one of my plants Something's eating that. I wonder what that is that's eating that. That doesn't look like slug. It could be slug. 
and um, what else have we got there's a raspberry there more currants so and then i've got tomatoes as you can see these are the plum ones again i think, I think this one is amish paste over here I've got some like the yellow tomatoes um and we haven't got the blight here lots of basil more peppers oops i'm falling over here um chilies and peppers they're not doing very well it's been so cold and it's not in full sun this greenhouse so it's not going to do fantastically and um, then spin you round around here just down here um never grown this before i got some sweet potato this is variety Mura murasaki um i doubt it will do very much but i thought it'd be fun to try oh actually i'll just pull that back there is oh, there is something coming in there very teeny let's just cover that back over um, I've got some forget-me-nots here to transplant around the garden. And then this is a cherry tree. Um, yeah, so basically, oh, and in the corner, you can't see it, but in the corner there, I've got some lovage and mint and a, what's that called? My favourite plant, zinnia. This one's a really unusual one as well. It's sort of, sort of lime greeny. I think that's quite an interesting one. Um, anyway. That was just a really, really quick tour in here. As I say, I'm using this mostly as a nursery. A sort of, I'm not using it as a, a poly tunnel for growing loads of crops this year. It's more to save me in the, because usually what happens as well in the spring, winter and spring, I use the conservatory for all of the seeds and things and you can't get in there. So this was to sort of allow that space to be used. Um, and actually, so this is really useful now, and it means I can take lots and lots of cuttings. So after lunch, we shall be getting the apples that my plot neighbour gave me yesterday, the red crab apples. They're really interesting. They're really bright, deep red. Uh, we were going to give them to the pigs, but we thought, actually, no, I'll have them. And I'm going to make some crab apple jelly with sort of a hint of rosemary. So we, we call it rosemary jelly, and it's really delicious. Um, and I might take you along and show you how to do that. Let's go. These are the seedlings that I sowed the other day. These are the mustards. They come up really good. A bit too thick probably. I might need to thin some of those out. And I don't know if you can see them there, if I can see them. I sowed some carrots in this one and they've all come up too. So chop to bits with that. So we're out in a local forest for a walk. This is supposed to be summer. I've got a winter coat jumper on, a, a cagoule. I feel like I want a woolly hat on. It's actually quite cold. I think it's only about, I think it's 16 degrees, but it actually does feel colder than that. We're hoping to get some blackberries on this walk. We saw some at the start and we've got to come back the same way. So they were really big and juicy, but um, we thought, well, we didn't want to carry them from the, for the whole walk and then come back again and they'll all be squidged. It's gorgeous here. I love walking in nature. I might turn you off now and actually enjoy the walk without filming. Mm -hmm. 